everybody, welcome back to 420 TV. It's your boy Chevy the Cannabis Influencer. And today I'm here with KB. Right? What's going on? Yeah, yeah. KB. Hey, let everybody know where you from, you know what I'm saying? Where you tapping in from? Man, I'm tapping in from, you know, back up in the East Coast, Boston, Massachusetts, holding down that 781 side, man. You say 781, Boston, Massachusetts? Yeah, that Lake, Lake side, you feel me? The North Coast side. Man. What bring you out here to Delhi? Oh man, we've been, we've been on tour, man, and uh, the South by West tour, man. Oh, the South by Southwest, okay. Yeah, it been, it been, it been fucking, it been, it been how, was, how was that experience? How was that experience? Um, it was awesome. It was a good experience, you know, it's been, it's been, it's been a crazy tour so far, man. Texas has shown man love. It's actually my first time being down here in Texas and stuff, you know, I've been traveling globally already, so, you know, it is amazing. There's a lot of talented artists. The food is busting. How about the vibes? How about the females compared to the Baltimore females? You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, yeah, you know, you know the vibes down here, you know, it's, it's, it's different. You know, everything's different to the police and everything. I love the culture. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. What you plan to get out this music shit? What you plan to get out the music industry, your music career? Um, you know, I'm just kidding on. The, the main goal is because I've been a lot, I've been behind the scenes a lot and stuff, doing a lot of work and stuff so like that. As you see my resume on my Instagram and all that, and, um, a lot of the background been on red carpet, so I did, did two uh, movies, Hit Home the Boom, um, and The Forger with uh, John Travolta and stuff, so shout out to you know, to, uh, so you did some work with Judge or both of you? Um, background work and stuff, you know, and stuff like that. You gotta stand on your shit though, that's part of getting your name out there. You say you wanna move from the background to the front. Yeah, you gotta, that's part of you gotta speak on the shit you did in the back. Yeah, so you know, like I, I've been in the background, so my main goal is like, you know, push your music more in the front. Just take off the look. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, well, well wishes, man. Appreciate you for tapping in with 420 TV. This KB right here from Baltimore, Maryland, man. Shout out. And I got SSG D Lo in the motherfucking building today. And he gonna let us know where he's from, you know what I'm saying? And what he doing out here in Dallas, Texas with this music shit, man. From Augusta, Georgia, you know, putting on for the city, 706, baby, man. And I'm down here with B-Moss, put me on this tour, man, he, he getting your boy right. You know, we just down here turning up, man. Dallas, god dang, I've been to Houston, I've been to Austin, Texas, we've been showing, man, real, real tough. So that's what brought you down here, South by Southwest? Yeah, yeah. This is just like you just trying to finish up the trips? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We basically just made it one big tour. Hell yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. What's your goal in this music shit? What you want to get out your music career? So, bro, like, honestly, bro, like, music chose me, like, no cap, like, music really me, like it really like my, my we go, we go, it's really like my five star football player shit. Like I do this. Okay, like, yeah, yeah. My main goal is just the, the money that I get from music. Flip that shit to the point that my people ain't gotta work again. That's the main goal, man. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. you wanna be wealthy. You feel me? Yeah. Being rich, you wanna be wealthy. Yes, sir. So, Generational wealth. For sure. Hey, yeah, man, yeah. I'm fucking with that for real, man. Hey, what's some artists out there that you wanna work with that you haven't worked with? Then all out. For sure. Um. Bro, one of my big inspirations is King Von, bro. Like that King Von. He was the yeah. reason why I even started this storytelling. That's the main thing that got me buzzing. So that's your that's your that's your route, storytelling. Storytelling. Okay, that's I'm my definitely route. That's what I'm for. And I got a list on my phone of artists that I want to make music with. And Von was the first. He was the first person on my list. Yeah. So he one person. Um, you know, two artists that's killing the game right now. They at the top. Dirt and Baby, like doing most. I gotta make a song with them, bro. They got hell emotion. Which baby? Uh, Lil baby. Lil baby. Lil okay. baby. The baby turned too. Like, I do a song. With, I do a song with anybody, but Lil baby and uh, Dirt for sure. Like them. And then Big Yabo. I'm fucking with Yabo for real. All right. From Birmingham, I'm fucking with Yabo. Gotta make a song with them. All right. Five years from now, what we plan on seeing SSG D Lo? For sure. Oh, y'all gonna see me here with Rolling Loud. Every big platform stage, y'all gonna see me there. So, hop on. We gonna hop on here, hop on the way now, so y'all can be like, oh, I've been on him. I've been yeah, on you, sir. Though. We got BB in full time in the building right here on 420 TV. It's your boy Chevy. Let everybody know where you from. You know what I'm saying? What you got going in your music career? Man, I'm straight out of Jackson, Mississippi, man. 601 in the building, man. Shade on the outside, man. Y'all know what's going on, man. It's BB in, dog. You can follow me on Instagram at BB in full time. You like the shirt, sir? I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Show. yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, what you plan on getting out your music career? Shit, all the money I can get out there, motherfucker. Hey, it's all about that dollar. 
Exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. all I was trying to get out of it. Yeah, yeah. Who's some of your biggest musical influences? Or like making music or just like looking up to? Looking up to here, musical influences. Growing up, yeah, what like, you listening to right now? Growing, growing up, I, I was fucking with Boosie and you know what I'm saying? I'm from Mississippi, so they kind of like close to like, that shit kind of like close to Louisiana and shit, so I was fucking with Boosie. Like growing up and shit, Boosie with it, Lil Wayne, shit like that. Okay. But now, I'm like, I've been seeing how like, you grew up and shit. Yeah, okay, yeah. like. And like since I grew up, I'm trying to fuck with my little baby, so I like how he moving and shit. So, All right, okay. I'm fucking with them. Always planning on seeing BBM full time in five years. Yeah, at the Grammys. At the Grammys. At the Grammys. You know what I'm saying like we gonna see me on TV, man. I'm telling y'all, like, listen, listen to me, man. This shit already set in stone, man. They already know what's going on, man. We at the Grammys in five years, man. I don't see myself nowhere else. Hey, that's hey, I want to be associated. I want to be associated with a nigga like BBM and Full Time. You know, man, you gotta get close. When I ask that question, I expect to get something big, but I just I get the smallest answer sometimes. Nah, uh, they see they they gonna keep themselves in the box. You can't give them a small answer. You gotta go big on them. You need to go big and go home, man. Yeah. This ain't for the look here, dog. This ain't for the square, man. Yeah, that's it. Damn. Show. GFB fresh. You know what I'm saying? Let everybody know you tapping in from Brooklyn, New York. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? What y'all here in Texas doing? You know what I'm saying? We on tour right now. We got one more fucking tour. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm going to Austin. So you get to talk about that way? How was that experience? It was my first time, so. That was your first? Okay, okay, okay. What you do? How was your experience? You was on the street, you know, next to people, just going and stuff like that. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. That's the that's, that's it. What you plan to get out your music career? What you mean, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to be a household name. A household name, okay, okay. Like, what you mean by household name? You talking about some Grammys? What you mean, you're saying, like, you're a worldwide, Michael Jackson, so, something. All right, well, you started. How long you been doing music? A while, I'm saying, like, I'm saying, yeah, I'm saying, 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 I'm saying,
It's that kid wings. Make sure you let everybody know where you're tapping in from, you know what I'm saying? Yo, it's that kid wings from DC, holla at me. DC? Uh, what part of DC? Southeast DC. It's okay, all right, all right. How long you been doing music? Um, I've been an artist for two years, but I've been a DJ since I was eight. Okay. So I got a little, you know, insight to music. I know what the crowd's like, what so people like to hear, and things like that. So, okay. What made you want to convert me from uh, DJ to an artist? Um, honestly, I was listening to the radio one day, and I heard five songs that I knew shouldn't shouldn't have been on the radio. There was one of them. Um, I don't even know the name of it. It was like it was like maybe like two years ago. You know what I'm saying? But like you remember the artist was it like was it like an Uzi or whatever? It was like some like, neighborhood artist. And it was like oh, how did he even get up? You know what I'm saying? So oh, I figured, okay, okay. You know how you know how money talk and things like that. I was like, man, I'm coming back. I'm gonna jump out here, and make make this music, and try to um bring back the quality of music. You know what I'm saying? Bring back the good shit. The okay, shit we okay. want to hear. Okay. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What's your goal with music? What you want to get out of the music game? Um. Connections. I want to spread my word. I want to get my music out, and I want to hopefully inspire people to make better music. Okay, okay, okay. So, what, uh, like, what's the state of the music game right now? Coming from that kid, we um, as like a whole. Yeah, as a whole. What you think on the music game right now? I feel like the music game is gonna big come up. A lot of new artists are coming out. Um, a lot of small neighborhoods, small cities that don't have big artists. They're starting to find ways to get out there. Yeah, so, yeah. Streaming, streaming is different now. Like, yeah, streaming yeah. is big. Um, I also think that like the big names are kind of trying to give people a chance to get up there. Yeah. You see all of these, you see more events, you see more people showing up to these events, trying to like bring people up and teach people the game and shit like that. So I think people are giving back now. Who inspired you musically growing up? Oh, um, J. Cole, Outkast, Chance the Rapper, definitely John Legend, um, a lot of Kid Cut and Kanye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure you let everybody know where to tap in at. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at D-A-T-K-I-D-D-W-I-N-G, three Z's. That's D-A-T-K-I-D-D-W-I-N-G, three Z's. It's That Kid Wings. Y'all all in there. I'm from D.C. Hey, appreciate it. That Kid Wings from the TV. Feel right, man. How you doing? I'm chilling, man. I'm, I'm hype, actually. You hype? Chill, chill. Ah, okay, 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 okay. I'll fuck with the name. Where Phil Bright come from? Uh, so my folk, my real name is Phillip, but everybody call me Phil. I'm just used to Phil Bright. Um, I took that name because uh, I felt like it. It was like speak up and, and then it, I feel bright. The, the reason why I go with Bright is because I feel like it embodies who I am or like the character that I'm. That I that I play in this world, man. I try to I try to shed light on my truth, on what I go through, and I know the people that you know live in my city or that don't live in my city will live the same way, yeah, feel yeah. it the same way, and they don't they don't gotta come off like you know aggressive all the time. And that's that's the part I. Uh, I come when you started making music, um, I started writing since I was twelve. Yeah. That's what, that's why I first started at writing music, writing, writing songs. But my first time recording was eighteen. Um, and I started doing shows like consistently about like a year, a year ago. So right now I'm 23, so like 26, 21 is when I'm gonna start. Who inspired your music when you growing up? Uh, Michael Jackson. Well, that was number one. Yeah, Michael Jackson. Then uh, Chris Brown. Okay. Those are the R and B and pop side. Like, that, that and that's your, that's your lane musically? What's your lane? I go both. I rap and, and R&B. I, I try to mix it in a little bit, get out my way. But, um, originally, I, I was just rap. Okay. And then now I got a couple of my voice again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I'm starting to get back into that lane. But, um, influences in rap, Lil Wayne, pretty much the whole Young Money. Uh, and so then, Tiger, then, Lil Twist as well? Tiger, yes. I wasn't really into Lil Twist that much, but Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. You had to, say you had to get all the way down to this. I'm gonna get there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, man. I, I'm, I'm into all types of music, but like. As long as somebody show it to me, I, I don't hate every mu music is music. Everybody's getting out different ways. Right, exactly. Yeah, exactly. What you plan to get out the music game? Say it again. What you plan to get out the music game? When? What you plan to get oh, out of? Uh, to be honest, 
first thing I want to do is be able to move my family off the earth. Move my family and my, make sure my people are straight in whatever situation they're in. Because I've been in situations where I, like, I wish I, I, got, I had them. You know what I'm saying? So, and I know they sometimes they be going through that too. You know, nobody's going to say nothing, but I know they go through that. So I want to I wanna, I wanna do that first. Then I feel like by me doing that, I'm already helping my city out. Trenton, I'm from Trenton, New Jersey. Uh, it's a lot of dope artists out there, and not 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 many of us is getting the recognition we should be. And our city used to be hot. Like our city was responsible for like manufacturing for hella different cities like San the Golden Gate. That bridge was built by uh, the shit that uh, Trenton makes. They manufacture. Okay. Okay. And like we got we got a bridge called Trenton makes the world tape. You look that up. Train makes the world tape. And I'm really trying to get back to that. Not taking from us though. They gonna pay us. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you saying how we get back to those yeah, songs. Yeah, you know, yeah. Bring good vibes back to your city. Yeah, I feel like after that, I'm chill. I'm gonna just do the fun shit that I want to, the adventures and all that. Yeah. Living is more important to me, man. Shit, well, tell people where to tap in at, you know what I'm saying? Phil Bright underscore on all social media platforms. Phil Bright official on YouTube. We got SoundCloud, Apple Music, Spotify. Um, I'm also on a Netflix film called When They See Us. Um, I did a background on that, so you can see that episode three. I'm trying, I'm trying to do everything. Man. Okay, so you get into the acting too. Yeah, yeah. Hell yo, shout out to Phil Bright, man. Folks, let me see out there, man. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. Coming to you live from Davo 75, you know what I'm saying? It's 420 TV, we got Big Zoe in the building, you know what I'm saying? Tell everybody what's up, where you from, how you doing? What's up, y'all? My name is Big Zoe. I'm from Delaware. I'm an artist and producer. Yeah. Um, I'm a writer, songwriter, dancer, actress, a little bit of Inevitable seven. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, you good, you good. Yeah. Yeah, how long you been making music? I haven't been making music since I was probably like nine years old. Nine? Okay, yeah, yeah. I always just did it for fun, which is something I knew I knew. I started writing songs first. Okay. And then I started writing songs. What you want to get out the way? I just want people to be on me and to hear my story and to hear my story. I want to like, relate to my music. And music has gotten me through my life as an artist, you know? So I just want to be one of those artists that help somebody else. I definitely can relate to that. The music definitely changed my mood. When I'm in the grand mood, I listen to the music. You know what I'm saying? That's awesome. What's your music growing up? My grandmother. When I was seven years old, um, my grandmother passed away. And when she passed away, she told me all the music. And I was going to sing her, you know, I was like, one of the first couple of times, originally, started the church. Of course, I would like sing for the whole church, and I was like, God. Okay. So with your girl, singing? Um, yeah, she's singing. Like, in the church, type yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the vibe, I know the vibe. Yeah. 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 Uh, what's coming up? What's coming up? Um, I got a lot of content coming up. I need to make some videos. Okay, content like that. Yeah. To your, to your music? Yeah, content for my music. Like some videos, maybe even some like photos, music clips. Um, more tours, for sure. And just um, definitely looking forward to a lot of features. Now I've met a lot of good artists I definitely want to work with. So just to keep working, see me on the big screen. Hey, see you on the big screen for real. See, if we don't smoke together, I don't fuck with you if we don't smoke together. Real shit. If we smoke together, that's, that's, that's how you know a nigga fuck with you. Hey, real, hey, real nigga shit, bro. Sure, I, I be saying no. I'm like, nah, nah, this, this is something. He came over like we smoking, so we about to get in here for real, man. Y'all tapping in on Pro 20 TV. It's your boy Chevy, and today uh -huh. I got courtesy in a motherfucking. Yeah, movie, yeah, man. yeah. Courtesy, the dark skin man with the forever ten, representing lead team. You see the logo, you see the dial, you know what I mean? You see the brand. Yeah, sir. Hey, what the fuck? What you smoking on, bro? I'm from Texas, so we, you know what I'm saying? We we just getting gas from you know the gas from. Wow, I mean, how sexy we? 
good, it's good. You can judge it. It's good. Yeah. Hit that bitch. Hit that bitch. You be honest. You know what I'm saying? Hit that bitch and be honest. You know what I'm saying? Real shit, how long you been doing music though? Man, been doing this a little nigga, yo. This is some shit, yo. How long is that? Young, young, man. Like, shit, over 15 years. I've been doing this a little kid, really, really. You know what I mean? Like, really honest. Like, my first talent show was, like, when I was like, 13 years old. Like, That's when you fell in love with it? Yeah, yeah, man. I've been, I've been, like, my mom said, my mom said it was probably younger than that. That was me just reciting songs on the radio, just mumbling around the house and shit, you know what I mean? I've been doing it for a real hot minute though. I ain't the one, I'm not one of them rappers that said I just did it three years ago. No. I'm one of the niggas who's doing it forever. I'm grinding. You know what I mean? Like forever. Yeah. You know what I mean? The nigga been grinding, you know what I'm saying? Finding his way, goddamn. But you plan to get out the music game, you know what I'm saying? But you plan to get out the music game. You get it now, man. Seeing money. Because a lot of times up rappers and artists, it's expensive to be a it's expensive to be a rapper. You know what I mean? And a lot of That's times, what, yeah, a lot yeah. of times you gotta understand to be as artist, you gotta understand that you gonna put a lot without getting nothing in return, no time soon. Okay, yeah. So the fact that my latest single got over 87 million views on YouTube. Okay, so I, repeat the last thing you said before the 87 million views, because that's what like, all people had. As an artist, you gotta understand that you gotta be prepared to put a lot in and don't get and expect to get nothing in return no time soon. No time soon. No fucking time soon. And that's how it's gonna weed out a lot of these artists who are not really built for this game. Because they're gonna end up giving out. Are you still rapping? Nah, 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 you know, yeah, a little bit, a little you bit. Know, he can't keep up with it, man. Can't keep up. Yeah, but yeah. these niggas will spend their last on a bitch, or spend their last on sneakers, yeah. or spend it, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's how you, you know, you got love for this. You got to spend your last. I spent my last on this thing. Don't blink twice, my boy. Yeah, I don't blink twice. Really that's how you know I'm all in. It's your passion, your love. Man. If you I don't get nothing, you got to you ask yourself this. Would you still do it if you knew you wasn't going to get no money? And I started on doing this shit, making no money. So you know what I'm saying? There's no question. You know what I'm saying? That's real. Who inspired you musically growing up? <laughs> I'll say, like, a lot of the dudes from the east to east to south, like, uh, of course, the Jay Z, the Biggie. You know what I mean? The Ludacris. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. uh, you know what I mean? Uh, who else? Who else? I would say. Like a lot of a lot of dope artists, man, would come up, man. That was doing thing, Mace. Okay. You feel me? Like the like the more like the two, early two thousand artists. Okay. So if you can work with somebody dead or alive, give me a few artists you want to work with. Dead or alive. Uh, I definitely would like to work with Meat Mills. Cool, tough, right? You know what I mean? Uh, I definitely would like to work. Man, I wanna I wanna name new artists. Okay, you know I mean, son, 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 that's that, that, that's reachable. So, who going, 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 who yeah, definitely just go to uh, courtesy.com or go to IG. Everything courtesy. K E R. Man, I'm make, make, I'm make it easier for y'all, man. You feel me? That's how you find me right here, man. Just type in K E R T A S Y, all platform. Courtesy.com, YouTube, IG, Twitter. And I don't even be on Twitter. Everywhere. I make it real simple. Courtesy.com. Make sure I get that merch. Lead team. You know what I mean? Hey, I got Slock, fit in the building, let everybody know where you from, man, tell everybody what's up. Texas, what's up? Slock, so spit it up, Brooklyn representative. We outside with that East Coast rapping, but we here in the South. What's up? Okay, so you from Brooklyn. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, how long you been doing music? Shit, sure, I've been doing music more than half my life, bro. Um, more than half your life? How old are you? I'm 28. Okay, okay. okay. So, shit, sure, I started in, yeah, about 15, 16 years. Yeah, I started in high school, and then... Yes. Ongoing process between me and a group, different indie labels, and then within the last year, I dropped my project, my first solo album, yeah. and I just been touring, learning, growing, learning my brand, just keep doing it, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you do music? What do you do? Oh, I'm a uh, songwriter, I rap, I play keys, so I'm a little bit of a piano. Yeah, yeah. No, my grandma played the piano. Yeah. I keep going with it. 
I'm not sure how to do it. Honestly, bro, I, I started playing in high school as well. Soft tour, so. bro, man, that shit was game changer for you, bro. It really helped me out a lot. It's big, it's big. What you want to get out the music game? What you doing this for? Honestly, bro, I want to show people that you could you can make the shit off your heart. If it's good enough, you know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't be doing that shit if I didn't think about this stuff. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people that aren't that good, but they have everything else that works. You know what I'm saying? But I really feel like my shit is good. So I'm not breaking my teeth value to the music. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So I give you substance and I give you a good time. I'm ball heavy, but I still like to have fun. You know, life is all about balance. You can work with some artists that are alive. Who do you work with? That are alive? Shit. I work with Andre BK, who's my favorite artist. Um, Sound out of Prince, Big Sean. I get a track with Biggie. You know what I'm saying? Same with you, LL Cool J. Damn, okay. There's a couple, yeah, just a few. Yeah, I definitely, I feel like I can bring some different flavors, bro. That's definitely hard. That's definitely different right there. Versatile. Fuck, man. Uh, who inspired your music you growing up? Oh, uh, shit. Uh, my uncle, he used to play a lot of Barons and Levy. Nah, I don't know Barons and Levy. Yeah, 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 bro. But who played him? Um, I grew up in a Caribbean household. So okay. it was a lot of just like soca, a lot of I reggae. Damien Martin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. definitely had them artists. But. I grew up in a tree home, so it was just a lot of just Caribbean music, bro. I yeah, personally, yeah, 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 all that shit, bro. But like, I personally started graduating towards R&B, started about with Usher heavy, and just a lot of within that area. And then high school, I tapped into Wayne. Okay. Wayne inspired me a lot. Uh, Kendrick, you know what I'm saying? To name those two, I really. I feel like my whole high school, I, I was just super on Wayne crazy, bro. I feel like that's when he was in like the pivotal era, when he was just like really doing it. You know what I'm saying? So, I would definitely have to say Wayne too. This is downtime. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't sure I ain't tripping, bro. Tripping. Tell everybody what's coming up next. You know what I'm saying? What is happening at Topic. So, right now, this year, within the last year, I've just been touring, bro. I've been to over 25, 30 cities. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Two or three countries. Push, it's pushing me. So, my album is out now. This year, you're going to get a lot more of the album. Name the album. Name the album. album is the title Rose Up. Rose up. Rose up. Rose up. Okay, okay. Rose up. This is the brand right here. Rose up collection. Okay, I'm saying. Uh, six, the dad, socks, the jewelry. Um, I got a whole entire collection. So it's rolling trays, lighters, clothing, jewelry, aside from the album. But my goal right now is to pretty much reinforce my album. Because I dropped it last year, but I just been touring. I didn't really go heavy on all my promo. I just been building relationships. Just moving, you know, shaking and moving shoulders with other people. So being yeah, real with yourself, knowing so something you get better at. You. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So now I'm really focused on the content right this year. So I'm going to be putting out a lot more content. Still touring, pushing me, and while working on the second project, which is going to be dropping next spring. Right, you know so that's pretty much my timeline for the next year. Traveling, networking, pushing this album, giving you dope content along the way. And the next year, once people get a little more familiar, bam, another album. You make it just work, man. It's lots of people to build. Appreciate you for tapping in. Oh, Chevy, up here. Who I have? Who I'm meeting right? Who I'm meeting today? This is Crazy Brook. I'm gonna say it one more time for y'all. Crazy Brook, and I'm in the building. Yeah. So Crazy yeah. Brooklyn. So where you from? I am from Knoxville, Tennessee. South Carolina is where I was originally born, but I grew up in Knoxville, Tennessee, so that's hometown. Okay, okay, you a country but girl? Country girl all the way. I'm trying to go mud in the summer. We doing nothing but dirt bikes, four wheelers, okay, all okay. that. Okay, okay, your time Camping coming up. up. Your time coming up Man, for sure. Your time coming up for sure. When you started making music, when you started. So I dropped my first. I've always been in music since. Fifth grade was the first time I wrote my first ever song. And I actually have yeah. that song on paper. Yeah, fifth grade, I have the actual paper, like it's old and everything. Yeah, from fifth it. grade, literally. But I dropped my first song in 2017. So yeah, it was called Vibe, it's on SoundCloud. Yeah, yeah, what you, check it out. what you plan on getting out your music career? What you doing this for? Well, really, I'm doing it for the blessings, as far as like, I want to be that person that everyone 
everyone, well not everyone, but certain people need it when they're growing up. You know, I didn't have the best life growing up and I wish I would have had the same support and love that I do now as I was growing up because I feel like, you know, this shit would have happened earlier. Like, you know, a lot more people would have shown me love earlier. So now that I have the opportunity to, you know, come up, I want to be that person who just blesses everybody and try to give everybody the opportunity with no strings attached. Hell, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because that's the only way I'm going to get blessed. I like that. I you know what I'm saying? If I, the more I get blessed, that means the more blessed I have to give out. To keep the cycle going. Guys, how about the energy? Yeah, I'm fucking with your energy right now. Like, definitely. Uh, who's some artists that you want to work with, Dead or Alive? Uh uh. Dead or Alive? Dead or Alive. XXX and Tosions. Okay. Doja Cat. Okay. Erica Badu. Okay. Rihanna. Uh, definitely, if we get more like the older school, Tony Tony Town, I believe some of them are still alive to this day, but I'm not sure. So, who in Philly do musically growing up? Man, you already know the old school granny. You know, us. I heard you singing. Like, like I didn't know who you look like. like. I didn't know what you look like, but I already can figure. Like, hear you talk. No, I, I love all music. Boy. Like, I love all music. So I'm into like ACDC. What's your genre? What's your genre? Psychedelic R&B. Psychedelic R&B. Okay. Genre. I'm fucking with. Yeah, it. it's yeah, a yeah. mix of like R&B with like soulful rock cadences and like you know. Damn. Yeah. 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 Go for it, for real. Well, thank you for tapping in with Post20 TV. I appreciate you, Brazy Brooklyn. Make sure y'all follow her and tap in with her. Hey, all my social medias are Brazy Brook, as B R A Z Z Y B R O K. Once again, B R A Z Z Y B R O O. Motherfucking K. I'm in the building, y'all. Trap Moolah. You know what I'm saying? Let everybody know where you from. You know what I'm saying? Where you tapping in from? It's your boy Trap Moolah from Brooklyn. I'm five, New York City, yeah, Dallas right here. Yeah, yeah. So you hear the talk about Southwest or you was out here? Yeah, man. Like, shout, shout out to everybody that I done met. Let's make up a little louder right here. So it's Walker, a lot of people was outside. Oh, you messed up Walker, why you not there? So the vibe was crazy. I'm trying to yeah, 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 yeah. I'm loving it. Like, it was my first time in Texas, and I feel like it was a great experience. I got a lot of new fans, bro. Got a lot of new connections, new bugs, like, yeah. A, lot, a lot of big stuff. Really coming. networking. Yeah. Really getting it in. Really out here in the they street. Been, been my energy. Yeah, I was with Lil Migo. Outside. A lot of these yeah, outside. Yeah. Trap is outside, y'all. Hey, yeah, I'm fucking with it. Well, when you started making music? Um, I've been doing this for like 16 years. So, yeah, like, young. I started from like, at least like, 11. Like, just playing around on the garage band. Like, computers. The first little audio. Recording websites and software. Oh, yeah, passion for it. Right, it. Right. It started off just experimenting, but you know, after a while, it became something that you know, I learned too well. Yeah, you're vibing out there on stage, you know what I'm saying? Right. Shout out to Outside on the Market and shout out to Dog on 75. What's your goals in this music shit, you know what I'm saying? What you, what you want to get out of it? My goal is really to be. Family. Yeah. And my family, generation after generation. Yeah, yeah. Like I want to not just be a millionaire. I want to aim for a zillion. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to aim for. Don't put no cap on you. That's what I'm saying. You don't want to put no cap on your shit. Yeah, I'm fucking with you. Right, right. Yeah. That's what I'm headed to, so I feel like I'm gonna make the most money out of this because I'm a real businessman. I'm not just somebody thinking they can do a music, but I'm, I'm behind production, yeah. different things, managing different You're really things. learning the whole, the whole right. shebang, right? I run my own label, so yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just lit now. Yeah, it's lit now. I'm fucking with it, I'm fucking with it. Who inspired you musically? Oh, Bob's Cartel. Oh, say it again? Bob's Cartel. Bob's Cartel, okay. Yeah, like Movado. These are like. Dance soul, Caribbean artists, and they very versatile. You know what I'm so listening to them got me so savvy you on know, anything I touch. For real, yeah, I'm real melodic, so I, I, I get that melodic flow. On everything. Well, I appreciate you for tra tapping in with me, Trap Moolah. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you get your shout outs in. Let tell shout everybody where to tap in at. Shout out to Moolah World Entertainment. That's my label. You know what I'm saying? Trap Moolah's my name. I can find me on all platforms. T R E V M U L A H. Trap Moolah. Do not miss me. You get me? Real Trap Moolah on Instagram. For me, verify before the blue check. You know what I'm saying? Because it's all about real engagement. Okay, for me, my, my fan base, I was from the bottom up. Ground for that shit.
know what I'm saying? So shout out to the hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people that follow me on the internet. I got Griffy rocking with you. Boy. Let everybody know where you from, how you doing? Hey, yo, it's Jay Griffey, Griffey on my, Griffey on my, Griffey on my, Griffey on my. We in like swimwear, we turn up, we going roll, 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 roll crazy. About the 425, you know, reporting live from Philly. You know, we always going live. Yeah, yeah, how long you been doing music? Um, man, we've been doing music about four or five years. Like, I started the game doing songwriting. Some of my first places was working with Jeezy, Ace Hood, Dilly the Kid, a bunch of different people in the industry. And you know, they brought a wave to me, and I, you know, I created a lot of things in the city. What you do, music? What's your genre? What you do? Um, man, lituations, man. Yeah, lituations. Sir. Everything. Oh make people want to move. Oh make people want to shake. I got this new song called Pound Town. Pound, pound, down. And Apple Music put it on the front of the page for the best oh new song. You feel me? Real rap. And you gotta check that joint out. We got millions and millions. Out, like that out. Okay. So, you know, we, we ain't here like swimwear. You know, we got millions and millions of strange people showing up love. And you know, we out here in Dallas, you know what I mean? My guy rep in Houston. You know what I mean? 425, so you know we're going. Who inspired you musically growing up? Oh man, you know, just listening to the great from, you know, I like I like the dip set, you know what I mean? Okay, yeah, I like dip set. You know, Buster Rhymes, Mr. Cool, I love the hot boys. You know what I mean? I always was like the younger dude that always just used to listen to the older dudes and study my crap. You feel me? And from there, you know, open up so many doors to be able to tap into the real essence of music. You know? So, you know what I mean? I'm inspired by the greats. Anybody that's a great or a living legend, I'm inspired by them. What you want to get out of this music at? Oh man, you know, I'm, what, what I'm already doing is, you know, creating opportunities. So I'm just trying to do more and more than what I'm already doing. You feel me? Just keep expanding and just keep leveling up and, you know, open up more doors. That's good shit. That's good shit. Do you work with artists dead or alive? Who do you work with? Oh man, probably Michael Jackson, man. He was just one of the greatest ever. You feel know me? And, you know, just understanding what he did for the game and music in itself. You know what I mean? I'm inspired by that. You know what I mean? And of course, Drake. You know what I mean? You know, of course. You know what I mean? I wanted to see if I could work with James Brown when he was growing up. You know what I mean? I like that because people are real showmen and they're like legends in their craft. They're on a whole different type of level. And I feel like with my brand, I represent that same thing. Love, love. Yeah, I got Moose guy in the building. You know what I'm saying? Tell everybody where you're from and how you feel today. Well, I'm Chico Moon Sky. I'm bringing greetings from Queens, New York, and I am just excited to be here in Texas for South by Southwest, and I think you're happy to be here as well. Okay, okay, okay. So you went to South by Southwest. How was that experience? Amazing. My first time um, doing South by Southwest. Perfectly, it won't be the last. I know it won't be the last time, um, but there's so many good people. Yeah, we did. We did a few performances um, over the last two days. We were in Austin, and now we're here. Um, so it, it's been a truly amazing experience. Yeah. How long you been doing music? Music, um, as far as like working and writing and things like that, it's been probably since 2010. Um, but as far as like singing, I've been singing since the age of three. So you got it both. Yeah, yeah. I grew up in the church. My dad sings. You know, my brothers and I we get it from him. So who inspired you musically growing up? As far as the artist, my father definitely inspired me. Um, just growing up and hearing him, and I think he's a, a vocal beast, to be honest with you. Um, but other artists who have inspired me, like the Jacques Pines, with the Houston's and Brandy's, um, you know, there's just been a lot of influence in that light. Um, more, I guess, newer artists, like the Charlie Pews and um, the Kid Cudi's and Kanye. That's hard, that's hard. What you want to get out the music game? Out of the music game, I just want to do what I love. Like, I have a passion for music. Um, I just want to be able to say I, I gave it my all. Like, I made it work. Like, I just want to be able to have my family and, and support them all for what I love to do. That's real. That's real. Yeah. Give me your all. Like, yeah. Like, you love you. Mm -hmm. Who you want to work with that on live? Work up right now. Yeah, who you want to work with right now in this business? Dead or alive? Dead or alive. Listen, I've always wanted to work with Brent. Brent Fight? 
friends. Oh, friends. Be friends. Friends. Yeah. Yeah. Normally known as friends. Um, friends. Uh, definitely friends. I still want to work with Cuddy. Um, I, I grew up on so much Cuddy. I would love to just uh, pick his green and just write with him. I think he's an exceptional artist, him as well as Kanye West. Um, artists like that that just are so in tune with who they are. Um, you know, inside and outside of the creative capabilities are just extremely just <laughs> advanced, right? Right. So um, those are like, the people that I pray to be able to work with one day. So um, I have my debut single, Sugar, uh, which dropped in October last year. Uh, I'm about to drop the music, the um, lyric video, and that'll be followed by the official music video. Um, I also have my first project that'll be released later on this year, Winter 2022, self-entitled Blue Sky, so be on the lookout for that. Listen, I tell people all the time, the name found me. I didn't try to go on in my way. It's you. Yeah, I'm like, it's, it's, it's just me. Like, strange things happen when the, when the moon comes out. So, that in and of itself is just a little Hey, I got paper in the building rocking with me. Everybody know where you're from. It was good, man. It's your boy, Paper Man. I'm from Los Angeles, California. Speak up, just a little bit more. It was good, man. Your boy Paper Man from Los Angeles, California, and I can't even turn up. Oh, so you from Los Angeles, California? Okay, yep. so what you doing at Chicken Six? Hey, man, we out here on tour, man. This one are our like fourth stop for the tour. We're gonna go to New Orleans tomorrow. Close off the whole week. Okay, okay. Can you enjoy your tour? Y'all went to South by Southwest, correct? Yeah, man. We went to South by Southwest. Yeah, man. It was lit, man. We had uh, three shows out here. But last night, man, we had to open up for the Little Migos. Oh, We signed the uh, Yo Gotti. Yeah, I know the music. Yeah, so it's popping last night. Yeah, so we shut that down too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long you been doing music? I've been doing music since like 2012. It's been a long grind, man. Long yeah, grind, yeah. long struggle, man. We gotta keep going. What you plan on getting out this music? Everything, man. A house. Yeah. A businesses, more businesses. Yeah, I already own some businesses. Yeah, man. Yeah. But you feel me? Just to hit a couple songs on that top 100 chart, man. Yeah. That's love. That's love. I'm fucking with that. Who's behind your music? Who's going up? Uh, I see my grandpa song, Blues, and my uncle playing like the Patoombas and like all the crazy little West African shit. Though he's like a Rolling Stone. So West African, like a big influence for you? Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. okay. What you do musically? What's your genre? Well, I'm not really big on genres, so I don't do music like that. Yeah, I'm not really big on genres. I'm more big on like the Caribbean music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I've been on Spanish vibes since like fucking 2017. I went to went to Colombia trying to full Spanish fucking video. Yeah. Full Spanish video. Damn, that's a lit nigga. That's another language, you know? Yeah, yeah. I don't so you can to, say I know Spanish? Yeah, Spanish, for Portuguese. I know a little bit of that. Okay, okay, okay. Nigga, get around. They get around for the yeah. show. Yeah, for the show. I mean. Yeah, step that one. Second called uh, Broke Today, Risk Tonight. Jump in June second, and you can find me on fucking Instagram, P A Y P A H M S C R O L C B Z. We are live right now with King High in the motherfucking building, man. Tell everybody what's up, where you from, you know what I'm saying? Where you tapping in at? East Star, New Jersey, man. East Star, 07018. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on, y'all? Who inspired your music? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
know what I'm saying? People like Kanye, Pharrell, Tyler Creator. It's all that way. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely Drake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love the singing shit. Yeah. And then, of course, like, Holy. Earth, Wind & Fire, those type of all oh, tracks, man. I like to sample stuff here and there when I make calls. <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. All right, all right, all right. What you want to get out this music here? What you want to do? I'm in it because I want stuff to be heard. Like, you know, real, like, uh, you know, I really enjoy the creation process and, like, working with other artists and stuff. And I just want to let the world, you know, hear what I do. Oh, no, no, okay. uh, eventually at some point I'm going to start like, uh, I'm going to teach you business again, but I think I'm going to teach you on what business? Music, 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 Right now, it's been mostly just making beats and writing, but I've, I've started writing for other people now. So okay, that's, okay, okay, that's okay. another step that I've, I've taken, so which is really interesting. Oh my God. So how was the South by Southwest experience for you? Oh, it's, it's really, really been a great experience because I'm, I'm networking a lot, meeting a lot of different people. That was the first time? Oh uh, yeah, it's my first time South by Southwest. So yeah, and, and then getting the chance to perform and, you know, and seeing the other talent that's out here. And also seeing the other artists. Yeah, that gives me something to take back home. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do.